Welcome to the Friday, July 19th episode of Stacks on Deck. I'm your host, Walter, and this is Raybirds DFS. It's one of the best places for PGA, NFL, MLB, and NBA news, and of course, DFS. All right, so we have an 11 game slate. Welcome back from the four game All Star break. I hope you had fun just playing other DFS sports, but I know if you're watching this video, you are really glad that MLB is back. All right, so we can pull up my checklist, and most days we look at six things. It's the day after the All-Star break, so it's a little different, but still. We look at the previous day, rainout concerns, top stacks, top pitchers, top hitters, and a DK stack build. So there's no bag and the overdraft. I guess if you're thinking about the All-Star game, you can say Duran was the bag and maybe uh, Shohei Otani uh, was the bag from the All-Star game. Uh, that just happened, but really no bag and overdraft because it's the first day back from the All-Star break. Right now, concerns. I have some elevated concerns about the St. Louis and Atlanta game only because it's thunderstorms and not just straight up showers. So, you know, there's it happens sometimes in the summer where you have these slow moving thunderstorms and then next thing you know, uh, they have to cancel the game. So I have elevated concerns, but I still feel that they're going to get that game in. All right, so let's look at the top stacks. When I'm looking at the top stacks, I'm looking at a few things. I'm looking at how the teams have been playing the past, you know, seven to 10 days. I'm looking at their their opponent, their matchup, because we know if you have a good matchup, it can kind of uh, make it easier, even if the team is a little bit middling. I'm also going to look at the players. You can have a lot of teams where uh, it can be deceiving. Yes, they score nine or 10 runs, but most of the offense is being done by, you know, two or three people. And we know with a stack, we want to have four or five uh, players. So with that being said, I love the Rockies. We all have known for decades now that when um, when the Rockies or their opponents are in Colorado, that just adds a little bit of a multiplier. And then when you consider that both the Rockies and the Giants respectively don't have uh, they have good from an offensive perspective uh, pitching matchups. I like the Rockies and we'll walk through a Rockies DK bill, but I also like the Giants who are playing the Rockies of uh, the A's. I really went back and forth rather than put the A's or the Rockies, but I'm giving it to the Rockies because they're going to be at home in Colorado. But I really like a lot of the options you can have for an A stack and we'll kind of we'll We'll touch on that just a little bit. And then top stacks, I like the Tigers. I already mentioned the Giants. And then I like the Cardinals playing the Braves. So who are my top pitchers? So Evaldi, I like Evaldi. Yes, playing Evaldi is playing you know, Baltimore. We know that Baltimore can be an explosive team, but we also know that they're, they've been kind of streaky and they've had some off games uh, as of late. We'll see whether the time off with the All-Star break will help. But with that being said, just looking at how Evaldi has played recently. So on the year, we know he has a 297 ERA with uh, 92 strikeouts in 94 innings and six wins. But he's had at least 22 fantasy points in four out of his last five games and has pitched seven innings in four straight games. But Flaherty, the highest um, highest salary player on the uh uh, on the slate, he has 119 strikeouts in 95 innings. So, I mean, obviously, we're always chasing strikeouts. And he's had at least 21 fantasy points in four out of the last five games. So, I really don't think you can go wrong with either one. Uh, obviously, with Evaldi, you get a $200 uh, dollar discount. And if you're trying to save some guap at the pitching position, uh, the Oakland A's are going up against L.A., and L.A. has had some troubles uh, recently. And uh, J.P. Sears has actually had uh, three games in a row where he's gotten at least 15 fantasy points. He had 15.9 fantasy points against Arizona. He got 24.3 fantasy points against this same L.A. team, and he actually got 27 fantasy points against Boston. So he's been trending in the right direction. So if you're trying to save salary, I like J.P. Sears. Uh, so when it comes to uh, hitters, and I've recommended, the, you can see that my players come from the number one and uh, number two stack. So Talia, 4,300, not very expensive uh, playing first base for the Rockies, but I love in the outfield. I love Butler. Look at the salary savings. That's why I like the A's uh, stack. You can still leave that money on the table for other positions. Butler is... Um, three thousand dollars and we can look at butler so just on the year you see the 206 batting average with only nine home runs and six stolen bases but he has had he had the three home run game before the break and he had a home run in another game in the last five games so he's had 10 rbi 
in the last five games. And then you have Rooker, uh, once again, 291 on the year, 21 home runs, uh, multi-hit games in three straight games and back-to-back games with home runs, including uh, two home runs in that Oakland A's 18-3 route of the Philadelphia Phillies. All right, so let's go over to DraftKings. So whether you're going to do a four or five man stack for the Rockies, you got to start with Talia. Seven home runs in the past 15 games. It's been insane. He had a three home run game right before the break. So he's had five home runs in the last five games. Yes, he is hit or miss with that 197 batting average. You have Tover. Uh, 274 in the year, 14 home runs, uh, multi-hit games in four out of the last five games with two home runs. We know Doyle's been their most consistent player from a DFS perspective, 15 home runs, 20 stolen bases, a hit in four out of the last five games with two home runs. You have Hillier, only two home runs on the year and three stolen bases, but he's had a multi-hit game in two out of the last five games, including that two home run game. And then you have Blackman, who's just been a Colorado Rocky, just been a staple of this team for a very long time. Only six home runs on the year, but he has a four game hitting streak with two home runs in those four games. So let me know your thoughts. Feel free to leave any comments. Welcome back and go out there and win that guap.